Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is William Fallow and welcome to the Good Week devotional series and this is the Easter edition of 2017 but before I get to the message um, if you like or share this video you will be entered to win this Wicked W. Warwick as Star Wars vintage action figure that is if you like or share this video in the scripture I found uh, two scriptures that uh, are, I'm going to read to you today and uh, I was inspired to share uh, I got this inspiration from uh, the, this the, in, yeah the inspiration from this message from Donald Kraft so Thank you, Don, for the inspiration for this message. And let's and let's start out. One of the things we need to do this Easter is look to the cross. For the cross is a reminder of what we need to do for Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, get out your Bibles and uh, let's read Matthew 16, verses 24 and 25. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to come with me, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life because of me will find it. The scripture reminds us to think this. Let's not look at the cross only for what it can do for us, but what we can do for the cross. Jesus wants to carry, wants us to carry our cross and follow him. What does it mean to take up your cross? Number one, it's not always going to be miracles and high points all the time. The cross that Jesus carried was uh, said to weigh 300 pounds. That is a huge load to carry. The horizontal bar, known as the Padi Bulum, had a weight of between probably 75 to 125 pounds and that is the part of the cross where you probably where you probably put it you probably you probably put it on your shoulders and uh, and that's pretty heavy when you carry the cross it's going to be heavy some of the situations problems, the jobs we work, raising a family, paying bills, facing temptations, can add on to the weight that we carry. The next thing we need to do is we need to deny ourselves and focus on God's will. It means that whatever you invest your time in, and money in, you will need to let some of it go. Let it go and use it for God. For example, spend, you can spend less time watching TV and you can use that time and uh, you can read the Bible um, study the Bible, or you can pray, and it's wonderful time used. Next, 
we must be willing to die for Jesus. For if we die for Jesus, we can expire people like Jesus did. Also, when we die for him, we are united with him. Romans 6, 5 states, For if we have been joined with him in the likeness of his death, we certainly also be in the likeness of his resurrection. If we, if we, if we, if we want to take part in the resurrection, we need to die, we need to deny ourselves and be willing to die for Jesus to take part in the resurrection. Ladies and gentlemen, if we die for him, Jesus, yes, Jesus will raise you to life, ladies and gentlemen. And when we die and when we are buried or our ashes are burned, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus will come up will come down he will come down from heaven and in the whole world and he will raise us back to life and we will go to heaven with him ladies and gentlemen i want to encourage you to do to do this deny yourselves and follow god and we and when we are willing to die for him he will raise us back up. Ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you, if you are willing to do that today, get your wings ready and be willing to fly, for we will know what it will be like to fly. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to wish you all a happy Easter. And you all have a great week. Thank you all very much for watching.